Nas also had brought an entourage with him of about 20 cronies. There had been a small altercation backstage between Pox and Nas's groups at the MTV Awards show just a short while earlier. Nothing major came of it, but this time Pac wanted to see what Nas had to say. He had a score to settle. Yeah, me and the Outlaws was there at the MTV after party. Me, no Gaddafi, and Fatal. We were all strapped. Me and my homies, Fatal, Nob, and Gaddafi with their clear homies. Everyone was on high alert peeping the scene. Nothing was popping off on our watch. I think Pac was doing an interview at that time when all of a sudden he just took off. I was like, where he going? I look over in the direction and Nas was making his way over to us. I'm like, ooh, nah. Nas don't want none of this. We had just gotten to it with one of his homies a little while ago. Pac about to bring it to him and check him once and for all. So we follow Pac about 40 or 50 deep, and I see Nas got a few surges behind him too, like maybe 20 or 25. Pac and Nas meet in the middle, and both armies stand behind their generals. It was like a movie, with two kings meet in the middle, and their armies are behind them just waiting for the word to unleash hell. Worried up. It was just like that. We had a few more soldiers than them, so we kind of surrounded them. I remember them actually telling Pac, yo, yo, man's breathing down our necks, and they playing us a little too tight. We looking at them mean mugging. They looking at us mean mugging. We saying stuff at them. They saying stuff at us. All the time, though, we all got our hands on our heat, just ready for Pac to give us the word. Pac and Nas are still talking. But we couldn't really hear what they were saying because of the noise. We thought it was about to go down for real. Then all of a sudden, I see Pac and Nas shake hands and embrace each other like brothers. Nas called off his troops. Pac did the same. I was shocked. I thought to myself, yo, what's going on? We ain't going to roll on these busters? Pac came back to us and said the beef was squashed. They met like grown men, and it was all a big misunderstanding. He respected Nas, and Nas said he had nothing but love for Pac. I was like, wow. I wasn't expecting that at all. But you know what? Pac is real. He handled his beef like a man. He squashed it like a man. When Pac and Nas met together for the first time, it was initially tense. Pac believed that one of the verses on one of Nas's newly released songs, The Message, from his second album, it was written, was a veiled shot at him. As retribution, Pac was preparing to launch an all-out assault on Nas with a song called Against All Odds, which would appear on his upcoming Machiavelli album. However, Nas quickly clarified for Pac that those verses in the message were not intended for him and that he had the utmost respect for Pac. As they continued to talk in the middle of Bryan Park, it became increasingly clear that any animosity between the two was simply due to misunderstanding. They harbored no real ill will towards each other and affirmed their mutual respect. With the air now cleared, Pac promised Nas that when he traveled back to L.A., he was going to remove the lyrics from the song Dissing Nas as the two had buried the hatchet once and for all. They reaffirmed their mutual respect, shook hands, and embraced like brothers. In fact, Pac offered to meet up with Nas again in Vegas a few days later if he was going to be there, an offer that Nas accepted. 